the very first star season up for 3.24.3 patch just dropped let's see what's in it before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for an lti argo atlas in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december all right guys so this one cig intends to do the global event the uh, save stanton event so you can expect to see up to the first three phases i'm um, going active shortly after the patch goes live which has been probably one or two hours and it, it says they're going to be running it um overnight as well so so uh, make sure to go out and test that so this one has an update for core tech uh, it says graphic settings update it says borderless mode has not been renamed to full screen selected resolution in this mode causes the game to render in this resolution but the window always stays full screen this now works with dsr higher resolution as well as lower resolutions and can be combined with temporal upscaling some things like the console and the ui will always be rendered in the native full screen resolution dlss minimal resolution has been lowered from 1080 to 720 currently picking a resolution with a different aspect ratio than the monitor can cause issues at the moment and will be fixed in later releases so this one comes with a few bug fixes as well they fix an issue where the miss hall c quantum drive and jump drive do not turn on with nav mode and quantum fuel is unavailable jump drive they have the jump drive mechanics in this already interesting all right um they fix an issue where a player interacts with an asop while the server error code occurs can block this kiosk from being interacted with by another player they fix an issue where while balkan is on enabling nvidia dsr upscaling causes a bigger full screen window than the native monitor resolution they fix an issue where motion blur implementation is broken they fix an issue where Hurston Dynamics Attrition series does not fire or causes damage. Finally, they fix an issue where a remote turret can be equipped to weapon slots that are not meant to be. So now this is in Arena Commander for multiple vehicles. They fix an issue where ejecting in Arena Commander match doesn't count towards that count and doesn't give a score penalty. Along with this is three client crashes, two server crashes, and they made several server side physics performance optimizations. So now one thing to let you guys know that this patch is the IAE patch. Okay. And um, in this patch, CIG has not released the vehicles yet, nor the expo. So it seems um, that in the later build, we'll probably start seeing the ships um, come in and cycle through. Just to test IAE. So we may see some of the surprise ships that we're expecting. Not sure if they'll actually release it in the PTUs or they're gonna wait until they actually go live. I'm talking about the Polaris, Star Lancer, the Intrepid, um, and, and and ships like that. So I'm not sure if we'll actually see it in the PTU, but we probably will. And also, um, I heard that it's possible that we may see a concept ship from Anvil. Which is going to be interesting. All right. So before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.